Hello and welcome to day two of the five days of fall and today he, these are the pieces we'll be using. I've cut Julie's out and then mine is a collage sheet and I was thinking today I'm just going to take this, this is going to be one of the pages in my journal. I was thinking about taking this and making a um, over the page kind of tuck spot um, and I was thinking maybe taking this side, just wanting some of that squirrel there, <laughs> cut up a little bit of his tail, but let's see. So I'm going to cut this in half, not really half, but cut this part. And then this would go over the page like this. And then I think we can add some pockets or a belly band or something and then this can just slide here. We can then glue the top and the bottom and then this could also be a tuck. That is my thought. And then we also have this part that we cut off. So let's see. If this could go here, and then we could use this. We could have it as a tuck spot there. Do I want one? I don't really want to cover him. Maybe we have two. Maybe just one in the middle. Let's do the one, and yeah, and then let me get my glue. I'll just glue this guy. And we'll put this in here for now. I guess it goes this way. I'll flip it over. I'm just going to trim some of this off. Oops, I did not cut that very straight, but let's see. With the mushroom, so let's cut this part. So then maybe this. Can be a little tuck spot. Maybe down here. So I could go here, but I want to have my punch. Like that. My brown 
yarn and what have you. Let's see if there's anything in here. It's gonna work. Layer the two. And this will hide <laughs> if I didn't cut straight. Add this. And then a little bit of this. Let's glue these on. We have uh -oh, one tuck spot here, and then we have two tuck spots here. We have a couple of tags from yesterday. And then I have these guys. We can tuck that guy. Like that. Pretty cute. Okay, I'm just trimming this up a little bit. There we go. I could add some, do I want to add some of this ribbon or lace? To bring my page back in. When I have my journal, I can just slide this over the page, glue here and here, and then I can have this as a tuck, and then it will flip over, and this will be a tuck, so I can have bigger things tucked in. Fun! All right, so we have that guy. I'm gonna set this aside and continue to dry. And then with Julie's, um, on her page, she had these two postcards and they're pretty much like right next to each other. And I thought, oh, this would make a fun little, um, like a little holder for some ephemera. So first thing I want to do is get out my stamp set that I was thinking of and my ink. I'll be right back. Okay, I have in my stash, I've had this Tim Holtz 
stamp set that I've never used. I think I maybe bought it last year. I'm not sure. But I'm trying really hard to use my stuff. <laughs> so I was going to use this and make a little pattern on here since it's stark white. Um, one thing I forgot was something to stamp on. A piece of scrap paper. There we go. That's work. All right, and I'm using my new <laughs> um, Distress Archival Vintage Photo. I think that would make some fun leaves. And I'm just gonna take a couple of these out. Ink them up. So we have this, this, is that, Let's make this leaf a oh, flex spot. Gonna add a little glue on the bottom. I can turn that off. And then these two I'm going to tuck in. And then over here, I kind of glue these together. Maybe we make this a belly band, and then these could go in here like that. All right, I'm going to go sew this on my sewing machine to give it a little more strength, and I'll be right back. All right, so I did some wonky stitching back and forth, back and forth. A little ink. And then this can become a little belly band right here. Oops. And then these will be able to slide in right there. There we go. Does it need anything? It might need a little stitching. Let me go stitch around the edge. Ah! And I'll be right back again. 
All right, so there's my stitching around the edge, all the way around the back. And then I just did right down the center so that this goes through this side and also this side. And I think it just kind of helps secure it as well. Pretty cute. I do like those sunflowers. <laughs> all right, I don't know if I'm gonna add anything to the front of this just to keep down the bulk. Um, but that's kind of a fun little postcard. And then it can be safety clipped into the journal. Uh, it could slip into a tuck spot. So maybe this slips into this tuck spot. That'd be cute too. All right, so there are the day two projects for my five days of fall. Again, check in the description. I have all of uh, the design team members from Julie's design team and my design team who are also doing five day of fall videos. And if you follow the hashtag, I wrote it down, hashtag 5DOF, so days of fall collab 2021, you can also search and find um, other people who are also doing the collaboration or also following along and putting their projects out there. All right, so come on back for day three and I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Goodbye.